Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning March 4th, 2024. Uh, I'm going to be using a different deck this week, but I also want to take a moment here in the beginning to give you an update about personal readings. I'm going to get this up, okay? I'm doing this on Sunday. For the next few clients that can get in, I will most likely have your standard personal reading to you by tomorrow evening, the evening of March 4th, okay? Now, that is not a guarantee, reason being, it only happened one time and never again, <laughs> but I know that it can happen. Um, it was for a 1010 portal, and I was offering 1010 portal readings, and people flooded in within like a few minutes, and it was good for me, but it was, um, it was a little crazy. So, if you end up seeing this a little bit later, like maybe this has up, been up for a few hours, you know, just kind of imagine that might push you to like Tuesday, Wednesday, depending on when you see this. Okay, so I'm trying to keep, because now that I'm all caught up on those and I'm all caught up on live readings, I'm trying to stay on top of those. So I will keep you posted. Make sure you're watching the community tab for all of the updates. Now, if you want that standard reading, Go to angelsouls444.com. I'm only taking a few clients now each week for live readings. If you want to try to get one of those spots, go to, or excuse me, email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. I hope that helps. I hope that helps. All right. Coming to life is the first card that's out. If you guys don't know, first of all, here's the deck that I'm using. I don't typically use the books. That does not mean anything about the author of this deck. Um, I actually really love, it's Colette Baron reed and I love her. I do love her quite a bit. So, genius. Uh, so, if you have this deck, uh, go ahead and use the book. I'm going to go off my intuition, and uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, and you're going to hear my earrings, apparently, because I'm <laughs> just not realizing that. All right, let's get more of the cards here. All right. All right. Hmm. Something is being birthed. Something is coming to fruition, but it needs to be settled in. So it's not this week. The energy is not so cut and dry, but it's, it's a chance that, of course, like I said, if you want a personal reading, you got to go get a personal reading. But generally speaking, for some of you watching, this is an important risk for you to take. Of course, don't be careless. Yes, a risk is a risk, but make sure it's an educated risk. Yes? Okay. Well thought out kind of thing. All right. So the first card that came out is coming to life. The number is 29 reduces to 11. Yes, we love a good master 11 number, don't we? <laughs> so this is ascension, expanded awareness, expanded consciousness. And from that place, you are an incredible manifestation magnet. What does that mean? It means watch your thoughts, okay? It means watch out for what you're doing. And coming to life, something is now breaking through the soil. If you want to see it as a seed that's planted, finally, it's springing to life. You might also see some, this is just a big energy read here where like you figure out how to focus your energy. You figure out where to place it. And because of that, you start having breakthroughs, all right? Now, I mean, I don't know if this is helpful for some of you. It's out of frame here, but I have this little mini fire pit. Whenever you're burning anything, always be careful, okay? Do not do this around kids, pets. Don't do this if you're about to go to sleep, obviously. Like, be careful. Use a spray. <laughs> I don't have one handy to show you, but like rose water with angelic work. Perfect. Jasmine water. Perfect. Where can you find it? Just about anywhere. Usually it's in the beauty section. Okay, so just remember that. But this little mini fire pit, I love this because especially around like a full moon it, or, or when I'm feeling cranky, okay, it's the same kind of, I, I do this sort of energetic cleanse the same, same way I would do a food cleanse, right? I do it in a very healthy, safe way. Um, but like I will do the whole writing out everything I want to let go of and it goes into this little fire pit and I let it burn down. I always light a candle next to it to put beautiful intentions into it so no harm to anybody but it's just just I think psychologically doing that <laughs> helps me disconnect from things that are stressing me out 
and they don't need to. They don't need to have that big a presence in my life. Okay, you feel me? So I'm wearing my hair curly and I'm wearing a sweater. We might have problems. If you if you know, you know, right? <laughs> you can follow me. You've seen these curly hair things going all over the place. Nobody knows what's going to happen with my hair ever. So the next card is Moonlight. 51, we're going to bring that down. When we say reduce, reduce in the numeral, numerology sense. I can't talk today either. Numerology sense, angel number sense. So that becomes a six. That is helping you get grounded in this material world, bringing those beautiful ideas into material manifestation, but that's not all. We have the moon here. Oh, that's funny. There's a full moon on there. And I was just talking about, you know, doing that as a cleansing, energetic cleansing with the fire pit. Do you want to see it? Oh, they're heavy, baby. Okay. <laughs> Here's my little, I have a couple of these. They're fantastic. And the little cup comes out so you can clean it. I'll have it down in the description box. I'll try to remember. If I forget, remind me in the comments. But moonlight, this is intuition. This is, you know what? I'm hearing closure. It feels like there's big closure on this. So yes, it's manifestation. It's listening to your intuition. It's bringing things into the physical realm, but this is also a little sad. Like the sun has gone down on something else and that is why the moon is out. And yes, the moon is beautiful, but there might be something that you're missing, okay? Like you're feeling like it's the end of an era, <laughs> all right? All right, so then we have uh, protecting treasure, uh, 39, I almost said 93, interesting. So 93 might be significant for some of you. Yeah, that's a 12... I like, okay, uh, I mean, you could leave it at a 12. Some people would reduce that to three. Then that becomes like ascended masters coming from a higher perspective, figuring out how to get yourself out of the power struggles, the competition, the arguments and rise above. So you can take a, like an eagle eyed view of your situation. If you want to leave it at 12, 12 is a culmination, a completion. It's done. It's over. You know what I mean? So protecting treasure, you know, this artwork is just fantastic. And hopefully you can see that well enough. She's <laughs> curled up on top of a treasure chest and she's got, you know, an umbrella over her. It's raining all over her. <sighs> this, this always puts me in the mindset of, you know, you've been through a lot, you know, and um, you've just hung in there through so much. And you've taken probably more than you deserved, I would imagine, for many of you watching this. I want to sit with this for a second. I'm hearing some things coming through. Uh, okay, they're pointing out a lot of imagery here. I love it. The beauty of using a new deck, huh? Well, it's not new, not new to me. I think it's new for me using it on my channel. I've had that for years. I think maybe when it first came out. I don't even know. I'm noticing a bird on top of this. I don't think you're going to be able to see it, but there's a bird on top of that umbrella there. And then cute little red mushroom. Some of you are just going to love that just for the aesthetic of it. <laughs> uh, and then there is, there's a crown, there's a gold crown, but there's something, what is that supposed to be? I don't know if that's supposed to be a snake down here. Again, you're not going to be able to see it. But anyway, the point is, is like protecting your power, protecting your sovereignty. So some of you, this is a major time of going back. Always do so with a therapist. What I'm about to say, a good therapist. If you get a bad one, move on. Okay. You, you deserve proper mental health care. Okay. Uh, so you might be looking at some very heavy, heavy, heavy things that have really harmed you. Because she's curled into herself. She's almost, she's not in the fetal position, but she sort of has like her head to her knees, closing off all of her chakras. Try not to be seen. Try to make yourself as small as possible. All right. So you're learning from this. You're growing from this. And that bird, uh, it, I just feel like the bird is like coming and being like, you okay there? <laughs> like, it's all right out here. It's not as scary as you think. All right, the bird has just managed to fly there, land on this umbrella. And you know what I'm saying? Like it's trying to like pull her out of her shell a little bit. So some of you might, once again, be hesitant to sort of forge ahead, afraid of failing, you know, all the typical things you would think of, afraid of failing. <coughs> Sorry. 
that cough is going to linger for a bit. Um, afraid of failing, afraid of being seen, afraid of being hurt again, afraid of being taken advantage of, all that kind of stuff. So then we get to details, details, and it's 43. And then here's another 12. Here's another 12. And this one says slow and steady. So I'll hold these up individually, but I'm going to read them together. You're having to almost learn how to walk again. And this can be some massive closure. Again, maybe it was something from childhood, something that you're finally saying, okay, I'm, I'm ready to face it again with proper support and to come on through. And if that's the case for your culmination, give yourself a chance to go through this. All right. You do not need to rush through any sort of healing, slow and steady. But this could also talk about the seven, obviously, is archangelic guidance. So, so many things have shifted in a global sense, right? Energetically. Remember, we're talking about energy. That has shifted. And so this has opened you up. Clarity. Important notes. I never noticed that before. I mean, I noticed clarity, but important notes. That's under the magnifying glass there. You see what we're getting at here? You're, you're going, okay, I can handle this and I can handle it step by step. So if you've been hesitant to heal, to take a, a job or to open your heart up to love again, or to even give your body, heart, mind, and soul some attention, right? If you've been hesitant to do that because you're afraid of what it's going to bring up, or, you know, if I take that job, am I going to be good at it? I always say, if you're intimidated by something, learn about it. That intimidation will go away right away. Because you just didn't know, right? So the details, details, you're tending to things um, that need to be handled, right? Uh, in the case of a new job, I mean, there's going to be a learning curve. In the case of a relationship or working on a relationship, it's going to be step by step to see how that unfolds, right? And you have archangelic energy around you to help you through that. And then again, we have the slow and steady. So let me just hold that up there for you. So what we're talking about here is, it could be a sad week. <coughs> Sorry <coughs> for some of you. There could be kind of a sadness. Like I said at the top of the reading, it's this, I'm not ready to let go. Or I am ready to let go, but still I'm kind of mourning what I went through before. Or... Um, it's, it's, it's going to be for some of you, a sense of stepping away from yourself and maybe you don't know who you're becoming. And so you might feel like you're stuck in this purgatory. Now you can apply that to a situation as well. It's like, okay, I see forward movement. They're actually showing me a train that's just starting to go and it's blowing the whistle, right? Like it's just starting to move. It's not at full speed yet. So whatever is occurring, whether it's a situation, an internal growth moment, a realization, healing, it's just getting going. All right. So things are still unfolding and therefore can still be changed. So if there's something about a manifestation that you see, okay, well, I hadn't considered this or that or whatever, you still have time to change it and to uh, redirect the energy around that. Okay. So angelsouls444.com. If you want to get in, get a reading. Okay. That's a standard reading and the deck and the other, this fire pit thing. I can't pick it up again. Oh my gosh. Um, I'll have those <laughs> linked down in the description and that's it. Leave your comments down below. I am sending you all so much love and take care. Bye. -bye.